George Cos, uh, please talk about how day five of spring practice went. Well, I thought I saw some good things out there today. We had our first real actual scrimmage reps, about uh, 25 to 30 reps, uh, kind of mixed them in during practice to get their attention at different phases of the practice. Um, you know, I liked what I saw, in, you know, in regards to, uh, I think we have some guys that uh, are playmakers out there on both sides of the football. Um, you know, I felt like uh, there were some some really neat uh, uh, neat collisions out there, real good collisions for the first day. Uh, linebackers especially running to the football, uh, threw the ball a little better, caught the ball a little better than we had uh, yesterday, which was good to see. Um, you know, some positive things happened. Uh, you know, we, we were challenged. We had, uh, you know, a couple of guys that weren't able to go today, so we were challenged in, at certain positions numerically, which kept the numbers down, I guess. And, uh, you know, it brings up that whole uh, opportunity knocks theory where guys uh, who uh, might have come out to practice thinking that they were going to be um, getting less reps than they had planned on found themselves getting a lot more because. Uh, you know the nature of this game. Somebody gets uh, sprains an ankle or whatever it is, the next guy's in, and you got to be ready. So I, I thought we had a couple of those situations today, which perhaps the, the younger players weren't ready for, but learned that they better be because um, they don't want to be caught off guard. You don't want to be blindsided by the fact that hey, I wasn't ready for my chance. And uh, uh, so we had that discussion at the end of practice with with some guys. I, I think that's obviously part of learning, growing, and, and developing a football team. So uh, I think we got that point across. Sure. Now, uh, a lot of talk about uh, the quarterback battle between Warren and Chris, but what about uh, some of the younger quarterbacks that got some reps today? Well, Marcus was the only other uh, only other quarterback in there. Uh, you know, Marcus did some good things, and he did some things that uh, we'll make sure we coach him up on. You know, he, he needs to be uh, obviously a better manager on the, on the field in terms of down and distance situations. He had a uh, situation which we which he had handled better uh, out there, but uh, you know I, I think there's some development things going on uh, with all of our young players in terms of the pace, the speed, uh, and the intensity of the game when they're on the field. So uh, those are part of the learning curve. Those are things that uh, are going to be uh, uh, he'll be much better at uh, when we get to May 1st than he is right now. Absolutely. Um, defensive side of the ball, um, getting back, looks like uh, Dom Cusano's back healthy. Um, if you could just talk about what he kind of adds to the defense. Well, I'm really excited about having, you know, a uh, healthy Dom Cusano and Steve Barker really as mm -hmm. our, our front two corners. I think they bring veteran experience. They've been in the league, played a lot of football for us. We missed Dom at the end of last year. Dom's not only a good player, he's a, a guy who comes to play every day. And sometimes you don't have that combination. Uh, and young people, they uh, they show up on occasion. Uh, Dom's there, ready to play every day. Loves the game, plays hard, plays with enthusiasm. Uh, I think it uh, rubs off on his teammates, which is another good quality he brings. And I, I felt that's probably something that uh, we're seeing more from in regards to Steve Barker. So it gives us a what we feel is a pretty solid veteran core at the corner position. Allows us to bring some of the younger players along at a better pace. You know, having not needing to, to throw them into the fire, so to speak, but letting them bring, let you know, those guys come along. The, the, the James boys, uh, to be uh, direct on that, Dallas and Kendall, they're, they're improving, um, and they're going to get better, and they're going to get it, I think, at, a, at the proper pace. Um, you also mentioned uh, thinking of playing Kendall on, uh, re as a return, a return man, maybe? Well, we, we're working some of those things out, yeah, in, in regards to... Uh, um, you know, we think all of our guys, uh, receivers, DBs, are probably our speediest, most skilled with the ball guys that we have. So a lot of those guys are going to get opportunities on special teams, yeah.